Alright, this is how to replace the laptop screen on your Gateway NB53. Um, the first thing you want to do is the screen is on these two swivels, pivot points. First thing you want to do is take out these screws that are on the end. There's one here, and there's one here. That's the first thing we're going to do. Now these screws in the back are silver, so you'll be able to tell when you're going to put the new ones, when you're going to put the other ones in, which ones they are. Okay, then the next thing you want to do is you want to take out these four screws. They're in each corner. Now, before you take them out, they're going to be covered up by these little bumpers. I call them little bumpers that go over the screw tops. I've already removed them. So, the next thing you want to do is go ahead and take out these four screws. Now, if you're looking at the computer right now, you probably notice that the screen already has a cover on it. That's because I've actually already replaced the screen, so I can figure out how to do it so we can film it. So I'm just going to go through the process again and replace the whole screen. This is why these are some of them that you have to, have to take the whole bottom part just to take out the screen. Now when you take the, take out the screen, it's not going to just fall apart. You're going to have to take a flathead screwdriver and go in between. This one was already popped out a little bit when I pulled it with my finger, so I'm going to start there. And all you do is just run the screwdriver through and just pop it through and it just pop right out. But just don't force it. Now the screen is held in by screws, little screws that are here and here, and there's two on each side. In order to get this whole top down, you have to undo these four screws. There's one here, one there, one there, and one there. Now our cover's moved a little bit, so I'm just going to move it up. And for this one, I had to use a really small Phillips screwdriver. Actually, going to use the small Phillips screwdriver for these little ones here. It's a little bit bigger. So you take out these four screws. Now all these screws seem to be the size. If you look at them, they're basically all the same size. I kept them separately. Over here. So I'm just going to take out these four screws at the bottom. Take off the last screw, make sure you hold it back so it doesn't fall out. And this whole bottom will just come down. It's actually held on by this metal frame. Now here's what I was talking about, the tiny screws. There's little tiny screws. There's one there, and there's one there. Had to use a very small fill screwdriver to get this out. Before I finish taking this apart, when this is up here, there's actually a piece of tape. You'll see a piece of black tape that holds. It actually just sits there. All it does is really just hold the top in. It doesn't do anything. And when you pry the tape up, I would already pry this up because I've replaced it already. You pry that up, and after you take off these four bottom screws, this whole piece will fall. And in the back of that will be a wire. So what I usually do is just tilt it, and when this is all together, the wire stays on there. And if you look back here, you can see that the wire is hooked to the screen. So, what I do is I just gently, don't pull on the wire, there's a piece of, I'm not actually pulling on the wire, there's a plastic piece that you just have to be 
pull up with your thumb, the thumbnail, pull it right off. It's attached to the screen. So I'm just going to pop that back in there, let this plastic piece fall. If I bring this up, you see that the wire runs in the back of the screen. Now when you get your new screen, it's not going to have the wire. It's just going to have a connector for it. So I'm going to go ahead and take out the other side. Two screws. Now your screen is loose, it's no longer in the frame, so you can just pop it out. And when you lower it down, this is how I did it at the beginning, this wire is actually taped onto there. It's got a sticky piece on it. So if you just peel up on it really easy like this. Sticky, it's like double sided sticky tape. And that will pop right off of there. Oh, this is just a metal connection there. Connects right here. So put that aside. Take out your old screen. This happened to be our old screen. And then you grab your new one. Exact same one. And you just do the opposite. Just reverse it. You put that into your screen. It's going to look just like this. It's going to have this do not touch. Everything's the same. Go ahead the old screen. You see the new screen? The old screen looks just like the old screen. Now there's a piece of tape here. I mean, some of it's a little different. But it's basically the same. So the first thing you do is you take this wire and if you look down here, you'll see that it's just a connection. It's actually just held on by the tape. And all you do is you pull this piece of tape back. It's on your wire. With your thumb. Fit it right in there like that. Put it flat. Push it forward. You'll see it will lock into place. You don't even have to force it. Put the wire back down. Put the tape back down. Like I said, this part is all double sticky tape. So it just lined it up evenly with the bottom. That's it. And this wire will just stick up at the top. We're going to hook that up last. Watch it when you take out this plastic piece at the bottom. There's a little wire that runs right across. You just want to put that right back. So when you bring this plastic piece back up, that you're not pinching this wire. do when you put in the screen on, do not put any pressure on the black part because as soon as you do that, you'll damage it. So if you have to push it in, always push on the metal part. Now we're going to put the screw back in here. Now whatever you do when you put them in, don't tighten them up. Just Put all four in first. That way you make sure you have them all in. I'm just, I'm just not even snug. I'm just putting them in there. put the screen in, sometimes it's not, it won't fit in there exactly where the screws are going. You'll have to pull the screen up a little bit to line up the first screw. As soon as you do that, the rest of them are going to line up. 
on that side. Alright, since this is the last screw, so I'm going to snug that up. I'm going to snug this one up. Snug this one up. And last one. It's only four. I'm going to go ahead and remove the plastic. I'm going to bring up the back. Now again, when you bring up the back, make sure that that little wire that's back there doesn't get trapped and it's inside its groove. And then also the wire for the video. In the, groove. And the wire for the video actually holds the little wire in on the right hand side, on the left hand side. Remember, never pull on this little wire. Always use the plastic connector. Pops right in there. And if you see this pops in, and like I said, do not press on the black part of the screen. Only press, press on the metal part. This little piece of tape here. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut a little piece of black tape and put it here just so it holds this on, because when you first take it apart, it actually stops this top piece from flopping down. Let me get a piece of black Now when you put the tape on here, you probably want to start from the back because there's a camera there. If this one should have a, here should have a camera. Probably yours does have a camera. So you don't want to want to block in the screen the camera. When you bring this forward, if you if you look here, there'll be little dowel holes right here. To make sure they're in, that's where your screws are going to go, and then there's one there. That way, you know you have it lined up perfectly. Then, when you go to the bottom, just go through like that, pressing only on the metal. And then you can bring this forward. Now, my tape's a little bit long, so I'm going to go ahead and cut it. screen goes around, make sure that tape's not covering up any of the screen. I'll cut a little bit more of that off. Okay. Now I'm going to go ahead and put my screws at the bottom back in first. And again, I'm not going to tighten them up right away. I'm going to go ahead and just barely put them on. So that everything lines up first. Last screw. Go ahead and tighten it up. So you get all four of these tight. Make sure this is lined up properly. You got your tape on there. Then you bring your screen in. You can tilt the screen just a little bit so you can get these plastic pieces that are circular. Line them up just so like that. And you bring the screen up. You actually feel these will snap into place. You can start at the top. You can start 
snap it in, but don't put any pressure, just go around and lightly tap it. It'll pop right in the place. You don't have to force it. If you have to force it, then you're doing something wrong, it's not lined up properly. Okay, once it's lined up like that, just close it. Make sure it looks good on the back. Make sure your screw holes line up. That looks good. And all that's left, you just put in your last four screws in the front. Again, just put them in there, put them in there, just don't tighten them and fall away. Tighten it up. And I'm not going to bore you with the rest because you get the idea. Once they're all tightened up, then you're going to take these bumper pieces, put them over each screw. You'll do it for the rest of the four. And then the last thing you'll do is come up here and you'll put these silver screws back in here and here. And that's it. And that's how you change the laptop screen on your gateway in V53.